So, now that we've figured out all this math stuff, we can finally get around to designing our client's tattoo. Let's review the original problem. Your client wants a tattoo of his daughter's drawing. The tattoo has to be smaller than the original drawing, so we're going to need to draw a reduction of it. He wants his daughter's drawing to be reduced by the same amount that his son's drawing was reduced by in his other tattoo. In other words, we need to find the scale factor by comparing the son's drawing to that tattoo. Let's start by finding the scale factor. Remember, we need to compare similar sides in the original image and the reduction. If you want to figure it out on your own, pause the video here. Okay, so you could have picked any part of the drawing, but I've chosen this one. It is six units long. The similar side in the tattoo is two units long. We plug those in to our handy dandy formula and get two over six. So our scale factor is one over three. Now, we need to reduce the daughter's drawing by a factor of one third. Pause the video here to try it out. Okay, so we need to multiply each part of the drawing by the scale factor. When we're working with more complex images than squares or triangles or something like that, it might be helpful to use things like the width or height rather than the length of the sides. The width of the widest part of the image of the cards is 12 units long. 12 times 1 third equals 12 over 3, which simplifies to 4. So, the width of the widest part of the tattoo will be 4 units long. We can repeat this process for the height, as well as the length of some of the lines, until we have a good idea of what it will look like, and can fill in the rest. The tattoo ends up looking like this. Your client would be impressed that you were able to be so precise when scaling down the drawing.